All right, boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about homophones. You can say it to yourself really quick. It's homophones. So homophones are words that sound the same, so you can hear them and they sound the same, but they have different meanings and usually different spellings as well. So let's take a look. Homophones. For example, there is a pear that is good to eat. So when we talk about pear as in a fruit, you will see a E-A, so pear. But then if you hear it, you can also hear, I use a pair of gloves that I have because I have two hands. You see a pair of gloves. Now when we talk about a pair of gloves, you see an A-I. Pay attention to see how the following homophones are spelled. That's how you know how to differentiate between the two sounds. Don't worry, as you get closer to second grade, you'll get more practice in it, but let's keep going. Let's talk about week and week. There are seven days in a week, that is W-E-E-K, and then we could talk about someone who is feeling weak. She has been sick and is still weak. Now we have tail and tail. So one of them, the T-A-L-E, talks about a fairy tale, like I love the fairy tale Cinderella. Now if we talk about an A-I, the fox has a bushy tail, just like Pilar, my cat. Let's keep going. We have hole and hole. The golf ball went into the hole. You can see how the golf ball is going in. And then you have W-H-O-L-E, I ate the whole pizza. Notice how they sound the same, but they have different spellings and different meanings. Let's take a look at hour and hour. There are 60 minutes in an hour. Our class is going to the museum. So you can see how hour, like the time we've talked about, H-O-U-R, and then our class is going to the museum. Let's talk about four and four. What do you want for lunch? And then the other one is O-U-R, four apples. I see four apples. Let's go to the next one. We have eight and eight. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. And you can see A-T-E, he's eating a watermelon. And there are eight cars in the parking lot. That talks about the number, which has I-G-H in it. Let's go to the next one. We have C and C. Notice that they sound the same, but they have different spellings. Did you see the teacher? Or S-E-A, the ship travels on the sea. We have flour and flour. I use flour to make cookies. That's O-U-R. If we talk about a beautiful flower in the vase, that's F-L-O-W-E-R. They sound the same, but they have different meanings and different spellings. Let's take a look at two, two and two. Try to say that really fast, two, two, two. But let's talk about it. The baby has two new teeth. That's such a cute baby. So when we talk about two, like the number, we have T-W-O. When we have too much homework, like something that's too much of, we use T-O-O. -O. And when we're talking about someone going somewhere, we say T-O, astronauts went to the moon. So we just talked about homophones. You have an activity today. Here's an example of what it's going to look like. I'm going to take you to the assignment to show you an example of me dragging it. Once you are done, you are done for homophones. Let's take a look at it. Here's the Google Slides right here. It says homophones. Homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings. Let's try the first one together. It says, drag the correct meaning for the given homophone. So we have the meaning that goes right here, and we have two of them. So we have deer and deer. Remember, they sound the same, but they have different meanings. This one shows an animal. So I would pick animal with antlers, and I would dra drag it. We have deer, as in D-E-A-R, and that's a loved one, like my dear friend, Miss Seja. So I would drag that there, okay? So you have a few slides with different meanings, um, but that sound the same, okay? If you have any questions today, I'm here to help. Otherwise, I think you got this. You guys are doing amazing. You're rocking it. And now you are going to be strong first graders that now understand homophones.